Right with Liberty Me, I'm Kyle Platt here with Doug French. Doug French of uh, Meets is Canada. Pleasure to see you again. Nice to see you again. So every time I'm here in Vegas uh, for Freedom Fest or for any reason, I notice that there's definitely this illusion or fantasy of more freedom than in the average place. But you would have intimate experience with this having lived and worked in Vegas for a while. What do you think is a way that Vegas is actually more free than the average state or city? And what are some ways in which it's less free? Well, I suppose it's more free in the, in the sense that um, you can walk down the street with a cocktail in your hand. I mean, if, if that's your vision of, of freedom, you can certainly do that here. So uh, you have the opportunity to uh, act out in that way that you can't act out in uh, a number of cities around the United States. But I always prefer to talk about the ways that Vegas uh, is, is much more government oriented than people think. In fact, the city wouldn't even be here if it wasn't for Hoover Dam that was created uh, through a huge government works program to dam up the Colorado River, to create the power that uh, lights this city. Uh, you've got 90% of the land in, uh, in Clark County, Nevada, 90% of the land in, in Nevada, period, is owned by the federal government. One of the biggest employers is the Air Force Base here, Nellis Air Force Base. It's a huge, huge government uh, presence here. Cops shoot people really with impunity. They go through this uh, uh, investigation afterwards, but they're always cleared, so the cops always shoot first. Uh, and then they uh, ask questions later. So you have a very oppressive uh, police force here in Vegas. So I think it's much more, uh, uh, much more under the thumb of government than a lot of people would like to uh, think that it is. What about things like crony capitalism? If you notice, companies like Uber and Lyft are kind of exploding all over the country. But there's a very particular reason why that doesn't happen here. Uh, can we talk a little bit about the way that cabs work here and the cartelization of the cab industry? Well, this is one of the strongest cab cartels uh, probably in the nation. Uh, in fact, if you, as you came into Vegas, you probably noticed that there wasn't any convenience vans uh, from the hotels like you would see in other cities. Uh, and the cabs line up and that's really your only choice to get to and from the airport. And that is because the cabs control uh, this city and they control its uh, politicians so tightly. In fact, uh, they all they need to do is go on strike. They've done it before, they've threatened it before, and they would actually, uh, you know, get the governor of the state to stop what he's doing for them to uh, couch out of the cabs. So the cabs really do, in many ways, uh, run this city. What do you think about the idea that Vegas, even though I, I know you said that you prefer to talk about the ways in which it's not free, and that's fine, but what do you think about the idea that a feeling that you get here as far as, you know, I know it seems small and petty, but being able to smoke indoors, something that's been suppressed everywhere else, uh, the idea that you can walk around with a cocktail, like you said, the idea that feeling free is just as important or maybe a little less important than actual you know tangible freedom well I, I suppose there's some you know there's some truth to that um, and and you do have a sense I think and I think the advertising of Vegas has really perpetuated that idea that you can come to Vegas and let your hair down and be free and your neighbors aren't going to see you back home and so that brings on probably another dimension of what freedom is you know there's freedom from government but then there's freedoms from your family and your friends and their judgments back home that uh, you've really uh, you've really gotten away from what what happens in Vegas supposedly stays in Vegas although it didn't necessarily work out for for Prince Harry I think uh, he uh, you know when his uh, he was caught with his pants down it you know it was uh, on Twitter within minutes but uh, I heard, uh, I heard the ex-mayor talking about that recently, and he said in the old days when the mob ran the city, that would have never happened. So uh, he, he said that, uh, and of course he used to represent uh, Tony Spilatro and many of the mobsters, but he said uh, the, what happens in Vegas stayed in Vegas, probably went away when the corporations took over uh, and the mob uh, left.
Very interesting. Well, uh, Doug French, it's a pleasure to talk to you. It's very, very interesting and illuminating things about Las Vegas, the city where we are right now for Freedom Fest 2014. Alrighty. Thanks. It's always Thank a pleasure. You, All right. Thank you. <laughs>